are here. How's everybody doing? And this is uh, uh, this is Mark. I'd like to introduce our uh, DM, Mr. Dave Spath. Woohoo! All right. Yes, I am Dave or DM Dave. You can find me on Instagram at Dave's World Games. And I am the host and co-owner of Sputter Media here with my partner, Mark, who plays Mr. Nobody here on Cyber Nights. And uh, before we get started, and I'm even going to dime her out, Emily suggested that we do a kind of like a getting to know you kind of question uh, uh, to, to ask each of the players uh, today as we do our intros. And I love the idea. So I figured it should be kind of cyberpunk themed. So I'm going to ask each of the players, what is your favorite cyberpunk genre movie? Right? There's, there's a lot of those movies out there that are like in that cyberpunk genre. And let's see which ones you really, uh, what, which ones you guys like. I'm going to answer first for myself. It's Johnny Mnemonic all damn day. I love me some William Gibson and Johnny Mnemonic was one of the first Gibson novels that I saw a movie adaptation made for. And uh, it was the movie that made me fall in love with the genre, the whole cyberpunk genre. So uh, I went from Johnny Mnemonic to Neuromancer. They haven't made Neuromancer into a movie yet, but I've heard like, talk, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, so that's me, and let's go and toss it over to my partner, Mark, Mr. Nobody. So tell them who you are, uh, where they can find you, and then what is your favorite cyberpunk genre movie? Uh, my name is Mark. You can find me at the dinner table, usually around five, between five and six. Um, <laughs> and uh, my favorite uh, cyberpunk movie is the uh, original Blade Runner with, uh, you know, actually the director's cut is amazing. And, uh, you know, a lot of great actors and, and just uh, amazing imagery. Uh, the, the, the design was amazing, the, the production design. So, yeah, that's my favorite. I got a funny story real quick about Blade Runner and my ex-wife. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe that's a safe for the break kind of thing. But it is a really funny story about Blade Runner and my ex-wife. <laughs> yeah, let's save that one for the break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get down the line to Eric playing Legion. Same thing. Tell them who you are, where they can find you. And what is your favorite cyberpunk genre movie? Hey, everybody. I'm Eric playing Legion, as Dave said. You can find me at Nagatsu underscore Seiken on Twitter, Twitch, and just about any or everywhere else. Um, as far as my favorite cyberpunk theme movie, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's not really a genre I've indulged in a lot, but I guess of the ones that I have seen, I would probably go with uh, iRobot. I robot, okay. That's cool. I, yeah. I, I, I definitely respect uh, Isaac Asimov, uh, but I, I'm gonna throw this out here. The book was better. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Excellent. Let's talk to Emily, who was the uh, brainchild behind this whole uh, uh, telling people what we think about our favorite stuff and whatnot. Emily, tell them who you are, where they can find you, and what is your favorite cyberpunk genre movie. Hello, I'm everyone. I'm Emily. You can find me on Instagram at kittenman66. I play Lovelace here today and Clover on Sundays in the Alderton stream. And I've made a huge mistake in suggesting these questions because I'm, <laughs> I'm not really a big movie person. But on Wikipedia, they've listed Big Hero 6 as a cyberpunk film. You know what? Actually, yes. Yes. It is. Actually, it, it, it is. really is. It really is. It, it It's probably, you know, it's obviously a more Disney-fied version. But yeah, that is Big Hero 6 so like, is a step, cyberpunk movie. Yeah. Stepmom answer, but Big Hero 6. <laughs> Not going to lie. I, I totally thought, because they came out really close to each other. And I totally thought Big Hero 6 was better than Frozen. But like Frozen totally knocked it out on the box office. But like, dude, I I, I was I was so big mad at Big Big Hero Six losing to Frozen <laughs> because they, they I I thought it was the better movie. Hey, you know what, Dave? Yeah. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That was perfect. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna like 
We need a rim shot. <laughs> and uh, if anybody's got a rim shot sound effect handy. And then uh, I'm going to give Mark 10 IP for making me bust my gut there. <laughs> Man, buddy. All right. That brings us to last but not least, we have Joe, who is also the DM for our Dawn of Alderton series on Sunday nights. Joe, go ahead and tell them a little bit about yourself. Tell them who you are, where they can find you, and what is your favorite cyberpunk genre movie? Hey, everybody. Uh, it's Joe here, a.k.a. Snack King. You can find me uh, just all over the web. I don't really do social media that, that well. Uh, I'm out there as Snack King. I don't really post anything, but you can find me here on Sunday nights, like Dave said, as a DM for Dawn of Alderton. Uh, and my favorite cyberpunk movie is Akira. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, 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 yeah, definitely, definitely cyberpunk genre, man. And, and I gotta say, uh, I I don't think anybody listed a movie that I hate, right? Like everybody's got some good taste in some cyberpunk flicks here, I think. So, uh, I'm digging it. That being said, we, uh, Mark's already pulled 10 IP for making me laugh. So let's see <laughs> if somebody else wants to bring uh, some IP to the table with a recap of last week. Any volunteers tonight? Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> All right, go for it, Legion. Let's see. So when we last played, um, we started off the session with uh, Lovelace net running and securing all of the data. Uh, Butterfly saved my ass and got me to the hospital safely and from there back home uh, even going so far as to offering me uh, half of the eddies needed for my treatment which I refused <laughs> uh, Lovelace uh, took Limbo and Nobody to Yamspert's office uh, and Limbo was almost immediately out the door again, getting his hand replaced. <laughs> um, Lovelace, Nobody, and Yam uh, spent some time in Yam's office interrogating Damon uh, and found out that it was simply a job with Weasel to steal the data uh, at the Battle of the Bands. Uh the Ronin data, as it turns out, was encrypted by someone named Squeak, uh, which they reasonably concluded that they needed to find Speak Squeak there on uh, Elven Life Online by getting a high getting to a high enough level for uh, the guild that Squeak is either in or running. Um, Damon offers his level 35 character for uh, 500, but nobody managed to negotiate it down to 400, uh, which Lovelace called dibs on after the job is done. Uh, and Yam contacted Limbo, who apparently is a fanatic of the game and has a level 40 character. And then shit went down. <laughs> a group of roughly a dozen bozos bust into Yam's office with weapons drawn. <clears throat> Excuse me. And things look really grim for everybody when, for some reason, instead of killing everybody, uh, they basically say that they just want Yam and they take him and leave. Uh I show up with backup, and uh, we're largely unneeded. Uh, but Frizz is safe in, uh, I guess it would be a data storage room, uh, across from Yam's office, which kind of rouses nobody's suspicions. And... Uh, he accuses Frizz of working with the Bozos. And uh, when Damon sees the opportunity to just fuck off out of there, uh, 
he basically tries to do that when nobody points out that uh, Damon is, was uh, oh shit, what was his names? Working with uh, uh, Weasel. Weasel. Working with yeah, Weasel. Yeah, Weasel's partner, and I arrest him. <laughs> yeah, I think we lost that four hundred dollar character. But it's okay. We've got uh, Limbo's guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also the uh, the the four hundred Eddie character uh, wasn't quite leveled up, so there was going to be more work involved in getting that character up to uh, raid status. For yeah, so Limbo's character is actually probably the better of the two. Mm -hmm. You have options to 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 use. Cool. So that being said, uh, just as uh, Legion's backup is taking off and uh, taking off with Damon. Uh, they Limbo is showing up to work the next morning and uh, at, during this time, Legion, you mm -hmm. get a message on your agent from your captain uh, oh. be because you were on the scene. This is essentially what you're told. Because you were first on the scene when it happened, he can't uh, uh, remove you from this case uh, uh, entirely. Entire. However, given the uh, seriousness, this is a, you know, a corporate executive that has been taken. Mm -hmm. You are basically being given... A uh, pretty clear indication that this is your last chance. Don't fuck this up. You need to solve this case, and 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 try and recover this uh, kidnapped exec. And you 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 literally your your job is on the line. You are off the force. No longer going to be uh, an NCPD lawman if anything happens to this guy. It's okay. He can become a private dick. <laughs> I mean, that's an option. You can let him die and just like become a bounty hunter. Or you can still be a lawman. You will, out of character, not be restricted from continuing that role. You just yeah. don't have a job with the NCPD anymore if yeah. you fuck this up. Yeah. And he's definitely got a date with Lovelace. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's the uh, that is the word that you get you, because you were on the scene when it happened. You are being put in charge of this case. Don't fuck it up. This is your last chance. Is the gist right so yeah that's that's not terribly surprising <laughs> and uh limbo is also arriving uh whoops uh from the hospital after he got his cyber hand and a good uh dose of speed heal uh as he shows up and uh today because uh, Yam Spurts has been kidnapped, Limbo is going to be played by <laughs> Mr. Yam Spurts, Mr. Joe. Joe is taking over the role today for Limbo. So Limbo walks in. Go ahead, Joe. What happens? Uh, Limbo's probably going to go... Uh, is, any, well, is anyone in the office? Uh, right now, uh, we have Legion, Frizz, Mr. Nobody, Lovelace... And the events of last night literally carried on through the morning. It's dawn, you're showing up to work, and it's a fucking crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, what happened here? Uh, some, uh, some bozos came in and kidnapped your boss. What? Yeah. You, uh, you wouldn't happen to know of any connection the bozos would have with uh, Yam or this company, would you? Nothing I know of, no. Yeah, I kind of figured. Ah, uh, shit. I mean, there's a lot Yam doesn't talk about, but... So, Limbo, tell me about this character you got in Elf Lines. What do you ask? Well, it just so happens that we may need to have you infiltrate a guild on Elf Lines. Hey, hey, I'm not risking my account for, for you, man. Well, you know what? This is for your boss, too. Oh, for him? Yeah. 
And uh, also a case of purple nurple. Um, Limbo, give me a straight intelligence check. <laughs> you see nothing wrong with uh uh forgetting about the rescue of yam spurts and focusing on this elf lines thing <laughs> you because uh, limbo is just so goddamn into elf lines he is like ready to just like spill <laughs> everything about his character so start just talking uh, about what 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 does Limbo want to share about his amazing Elf Lines online character when the subject is brought up? All right, well, so I've been working on this thing for probably about a couple months now, and he's gonna go over to his workstation and boot up the game because that's where he, he plays most of it when he's not at home. He plays a lot of it in the office. So um, uh, his his cubicle is over here. So uh, Limbo I'm just going to totally encourage over to his cubicle and starts I'm logging in. Totally but encouraging him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely shouts out Limbo, Limbo, wait, what about Yam? Guys Well, he already failed his intelligence check And he is dead <laughs> focused on this Elfline shit right now He 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 goes into a tangent about how he's been um, Trying to layer different items So he has a certain look um, And he, he shows you this, this character that looks like uh, He's trying to imitate a, a, a popular cultural reference from uh, Night City and all, and I got this outfit over here, and then I have these two spare bank accounts where I use for my training and whatnot. That is um, so cool. I know. I've spent so many hours in this. Uh, so you wouldn't um, happen to have come across a player named Mouse Mousey, would you? No, Squeak. You're Sorry, squeak. squeak. Yeah, Squeak. Yeah. You, you wouldn't have Squeak. Squeak. Yeah. Uh, give me a streetwise check, Limbo. Uh, you are familiar with Squeak's guild, and you know that's like an elite raid squad. And they always go after like big ticket legendary raids together, and getting in with them is tough. Dude, imagine the gear you could get. The drops are going to be just like phenomenal. Yeah, there are a couple pieces I'm missing with this new update. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. even they, have to roll persuasion. He's just falling for a little client and sinker. It's great. I well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what role they play because I typically do a caster, but I've been working on this Batcher build. I got this. I need to start doing technical mumbo jumbo when he pulls out like a notepad where he's doing all this like crazy advanced like math to figure out his character. Um, no, nothing on his desk says anything about the job he does. It's all about this game, dude. I, you know what? I have a soft spot in my heart for min maxers, and you are definitely a min maxer. <laughs> uh, I will say Lovelace, that wait. Lovelace mentioning uh, yam spurts does kind of uh, change your circumstances to allow you another intelligence role. Oh, I was going to say Lovelace takes out her agent and gets like a piercing siren noise going no. on until everybody <laughs> looks at her. Uh, oh, you know what? I love that even better. Uh, everybody, give me a resist torture drugs check, except for oh, Lovelace. You were prepared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Limbo's ears are Ouch. damn near bleeding, and Ooh. and and and, and Mine he too. cannot stand. Uh, nobody as well. Legion, you're you're a little startled by it, but you're like, I see what she's doing, and probably are not really uh, disapproving too much of <laughs> her trying to redirect attention over to the kidnapping rather than the video game. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, everybody's right. eyes are on Lovelace right now. Yes, ma'am. Right. Hey, assholes. <laughs> we gotta worry about yam spurts. Gamers rule. Doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nobody. We have to find our, our coworker, our friend, whatever the fuck he is. He kidnapped. We couldn't save him. We need to go help him now. So how the fuck are we going to find the bozos? What do we know about them? They're clowns. 
Can I do a uh, library check on uh, anything I know about the low bo bo bozos? Well, I would say it's streetwise, streetwise for whatever you know off the top of your head. Okay, I'll do streetwise then. I was actually going to ask the exact same thing. Uh, I will allow anybody to make the street rise wall street wise roll if they choose. Oh, baby. Nice. nice. 22, baby. Well, we've, we've got a few. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, 10 IPs going out right now. So Lovelace and Limbo are both drawing a fucking blank, but you all get 10 IP. I've never Mr. heard Nobody. of them. That's why I was asking everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like Lovelace, like, like, I, it, you must have been living under a rock or something because, like, pe most people uh, know of the bozos. I would say uh, you've still heard of them, even with your negative one. You've still heard of them, but to the, to you, they're mostly an urban legend, right? Like yeah, I've been like, living with the court for, and so you know we got exiled. Never actually so seen I don't know what any the fuck's evidence. going on. Yeah, you've never seen any. Like you've just heard a lot of death and destruction being attributed to them but like you don't really know anything else they're like an urban legend to you uh same thing for limbo but nobody you know for a fact that they have a tendency uh uh it's a group of uh it, it's a ganger group that is particular to uh modifying themselves to the point of cyber psychosis and um they have a tendency obviously everybody still needs eddies so when uh they t it, if they take a contract it's usually like the cheapest fucking contract on the market so if somebody dropped if somebody hired them to do a kidnapping with your streetwise check you know that the contract was dirt fucking cheap. Mm. Do is there any no, chance that I have yeah. done business with them in the past? Uh, most, you've most likely not done business with them just because uh, uh, you know better than yeah. to get involved with them. Getting involved with them is is messy. is such it's messy. It's messy yeah. as fuck. Yeah. And uh, so you you know that probably not gonna you, you probably would have avoided doing business with them deliberately kind of like getting in between joe and his dubby yeah it's uh it's a messy affair so <laughs> that is what you know about the bozos um and you can put two and two together whoever wanted yam spurts kidnapped wasn't paying very much okay that's what you can deduce from the bozos being involved. All right, so we're not looking at high-end uh, villains here. We're looking at low-end um, uh, somebody who can't afford a lot could mean uh, and and Mr. Nobody stops and narrows his eyes and looks at Frizz. And I just stop. I just stop what talking. I was, I was gonna say you look at frizz anything do you say anything i'm <laughs> just you know what i'm just i'm just like it's i'm just i'm i can't are, get past my are my you trying suspicion to, are you trying to i'm gonna try like, and read i'm gonna look. i'm gonna try and read her uh read her Response? face or her facial okay. reaction give me a human perception check okay you want to throw any oh by the way make sure y'all reset your luck yeah i'm yep. throwing one luck on there uh huh. That's a sixteen. Her face looks looks uh, uh stoic and concerned. Uh, but you do catch like a glint of how do I put it? Machiavellian malice. No, no <sighs> lack of surprise. Hmm. I knew it. I could feel it in my abs. <laughs> God damn. Uh, well, lack of surprise could mean a lot of things. Just just throwing that out there. Uh, I, but I still yeah, think you, I you wanna... are reading. Yeah, you, you aren't reading malice, though, but you are reading a lack of surprise. A, a slight bit of calculation calculations. Um, I wouldn't even call it that. 
I literally I just like, I'm not shocked this is happening. That's what I mean by lack of surprise. I'm not shocked this is happening. Is the, is the, uh, I'm, you know what? I'm going to let somebody else do it, but I just, is, is the room, is her room that she was in, is that still locked? Uh, it actually, yes, because it locks automatically. Uh, it has a key card. Uh, uh, you have to have the, the, um, uh, it, well, sorry, it's a biometric, uh, uh, uh biometric. entry. Mm -hmm. It's biometric entry. And, uh, she'll even share with you that that's, that we have, uh, the server room for, for the, the whole company is in there. Yeah. And also her personal workstation. Okay. I'll let somebody else do some deductions. We know the bozos are cheap. But what if they weren't hired directly? What if the contract was an open one and they were just the first to hop on it? That's uh, give me a deduction check. Right. Let's see. Deduction. Deduction. There we go. Okay. Ah, shit. <laughs> um, what you just said uh you're like wait no nah, no nah. if they're getting involved with the bozos they had to know what they were getting themselves into right and then he notices limbo's very cool character on screen <laughs> <laughs> by the way i just just realized limbo's first name is uh wait who, wait legion's first name is beowulf Yes. What the well, fuck? <laughs> well, actually, you didn't just notice this because uh, he's never told us. Be well, no, uh, we, we we use the Cyberpunk Red Companion to reimport Legion uh, uh, on Wednesday because he's in my uh, uh, Eric's in my Wednesday game, and we we already handled that with him, and that's why oh. the name is popping up now because he finally filled it out. <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. Well, fun fact. Before my mom decided to put my name to a vote among her family and friends, that's legitimately what she wanted to name me. <laughs> that's great. I know. It was like I mean, I but Eric is a that. strong Viking name too, right? Yeah, you would have so. had to learn old English and all that stuff. That would have been oh, perfect. Oh man. Uh I would love to hear him just like go through some Chaucer. I want to hear yeah, him do the, the Miller's sure. tale. It's the dirtiest fucking Middle it English is. thing ever written. It is. Um <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, you are just like uh, you're certain that whoever got themselves involved with the bozos had to know what they were getting themselves into. But part of that draws from your, uh, you know, what you know about the urban legends that I said about the bozos, how you just kind of know them as these scary motherfuckers yeah. that nobody fucks with. So how could they not, right? Huh. Legion, do you have access to any information about the Bozos? Maybe where, you know, some of the members or where their uh, hideout is? About to say, actually. Um, you, you can do a library search, and because you have access to the NCPD database, you get a plus two on this. Yeah. Um, I s I don't, go ahead. I don't know about uh, uh, the gang itself, but... Uh, I might be able to filter out by um, by affiliation, you know? Mm-hmm. So let's see if I can find anything. Come on now. There we go. Uh, was that including your plus two or no? That was including it. Okay. So uh, your, your 20... Uh, one thing that you do learn in that library search is that there is a, um, a, a specific bozo, call him a capo, right, level mm -hmm. uh, 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 member of the bozos who goes by the name of the jester. And uh, the By the jester, way, it's, it's capo? Oh, oh capo. Uh, K Capo bad. is what you put on a guitar. 
Yes, thank you. That's actually that is exactly why I brained it that way because I I play guitar and I was thinking capo and they're spelled the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, that was that was that was that was my musician. I'm sorry, it's just the New Yorker in me. These some of these things you kind of learn along the way. You know, hey, forget you about know, it. You know, yeah, we all know Mark's affiliated. He's trying to hint at it like don't fuck with nobody, right? Hey. So um, this capo uh, level. Bozo, uh, who goes by the name of the Jester, he uh, uh, he also uh, his 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 kind of base they call it the court, right? This is one of the more calculating and conniving bozos out there. Has a tendency to plan jobs rather than pure chaos. He he he's a little less cyber psycho than the average bozo capo level. You know what I'm saying? So right. you think that uh, that might be a good thread to pull on because if anybody is uh, if anybody actually has the ability to organize an operation like this, it's probably the jester. Hmm. Is he a All smoker? Right. Is he a toker? A toker? Oh. <laughs> Jester, not Joker. Come on. Mid Actually, not specifically toker. leaned away from the Joker because I did not want to like bring in Batman references. <laughs> I'll do my Mark Hamill impression. Watch out. But yeah, so if you think some uh, that that is the only one that you know uh, as far as N NCPD interactions with Bozos is concerned. This guy seems to be behind anything that is planned, right? Oh. Mm, okay. You don't it, mo most 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 bozo events are random chaos and just or or uh, sometimes it's just hurting people for the sake of hurting people. But when there's orchestration involved, you think of the jester. That is okay. what you get, Legion. All Do right. we know his full name? Nah. No. Oh, okay. Chester, Chester. Okay. He's never he's never been in custody. It's the only people you've brought in that the NCPD has brought into custody uh, uh, affiliated with him are lower level people, and so even the Chester himself is still kind of urban legendy, but it still fits his mo to have this kind of orchestration involved. Yeah. Um, I would like to do an additional library search on the court. Uh, there's not known much known about the court other than it has, uh, he has a tendency to change locations and just take over, uh, uh, buildings as necessary. Okay. I would like uh, to, that'll be included in your original 20 library search. I would like to send okay. a, uh, message to mm -hmm. Lovelace on my internal, uh, agent and saying to her, it would be really nice if you could jack in here and do a quick net run just but i know that it's going to be dangerous with frizz and her her search setups but man i really don't trust her lovely sees the i guess she has to take out her agent and sees the message and you know, quickly kind of hides her agent in front of her, make, looking around, making sure Frizz or Limbo aren't seeing, just like text back, what are you thinking? I don't trust her either, but that's not the top priority right now. She seems to have enough reason to want him back. I don't, we don't have to involve her, but I'm not trying to investigate her right now. Fine. Okay, I give up. I'll let it go. <laughs> I'll let it go. You can tell me I told you can tell me I told you so when Frizz is the BBEG. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll do that. I'll definitely you will you will definitely not live this down. <laughs> I well, accept that. Uh, <laughs> is there anything else anybody else wants to do for uh, uh, investigation? into this uh like like how wh where do you guys want to go from here right well mr nobody um, sits down next to limbo wants to set up a quick character so uh limbo can level him up really fast 
There is one thing I would like to do. It, I don't necessarily think it has to be here, but uh, while I don't think Frizz is guilty, I do suspect that she knows more than she's telling. So I want to see if there's any way I can pry into her finances. All right. Hold that there. thought. Mm hmm Okay. And then uh, Mr. Nobody with Limbo, um, since uh, Joe is playing Limbo, uh, you would have the opportunity right now to, if, if, if you're being asked, if Limbo's being asked to basically pay, play Elf Lines online, would he be like, okay, uh, I'll just start leveling up your character? Or would he try to negotiate with nobody because this is... Um, uh, you know people buy and sell. Limbo knows people like like leveling up a character for somebody is money. Limbo knows this. So how Limbo is Limbo definitely respond? trying to get paid right now. He's definitely trying to get paid for this. So go for it. Role play that uh, request out. Um, so, you know what? I mean, Limbo, you and I go back. We're just such good pals. I was hoping you'd, you know, take this, uh, you know, first level paladin and, uh, you know, turn him into like a, a monster. Uh, you could do that for me, right? Just kind of like have him tag along, you know? I am going to give, uh, Limbo, um... <clears throat> you know what? To avoid PvP issues, right? Um, Limbo, you throw out a number that you think is appropriate. Nobody, I will allow you a haggle roll, but you get a plus two against the DV because you saved Limbo's life. You're the one who pulled his ass off of the rooftop. Okay. So... Uh, let's hear what Joe's, or sorry, what Joe thinks Limbo's, uh, uh, um, price would be for, for leveling up a character for nobody. All my years as, a, as an MMO player are finally coming handy for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he, Limbo's gonna look at you, um, the situate 800 eddies for you. That's a little Eight, bit of a discount than what you'll find online. Eight hundred eddies. Eight hundred eddies. Okay, do you see this? So. Do you see this? This scar on my beautiful abs. That was where you so, grabbed me too hard. When so, I so so you get uh, uh we are gonna tie a roll to this. You're gonna make an operator check to see if you can get your uh ten percent discount or sorry twenty percent discount on this. Okay. So give me a an operator check. And add plus two, you said, right? Yeah, you get a plus two to this check for saving Limbo's life. Okay. That way it's not PvP, it's it's PvDV. <laughs> yeah. That's a twenty-five. Oh shit, yes. You can you you get your twenty percent. So what is twenty percent off of eight hundred? It'd be I don't know, it's a it's, uh, six hundred. It would be hundred and sixty off. Okay, so it's uh, six forty or six forty. So 640 it would be an acceptable number to Limbo. All right. I will give him 640. So Limbo is now being paid 640 eddies to uh, level up in his off hours a, uh, uh, <clears throat> a character for nobody. Okay. I'm deducting Tra 640. You can add 640 to Limbo. Oh, yeah, add it to, uh, since you have control, add 640 to Limbo's uh, 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 monies. This is going to him, not not Yam, obviously. I'm so glad I got that night market money. I'm so <laughs> happy I got that. Uh, now that we have resolved that, let's, Legion, you were wanting to kind of maybe ask some questions of Frizz, Yes. Uh, not quite. I wanted to see if I could find any large sums of money going into her accounts. Uh, uh, you are not able to... The, the NCPD database does not have access to individual accounts. 
in order to get that kind of uh, digging into somebody, you got to talk to Netwatch. Okay. You would, you would know that to get that information from anybody but Frizz, you would have to talk to Netwatch uh, uh, to, to dig into that shit. Right. All right. Well, listen. Um, so, so, so here's the deal. Uh, um, Legion, this is an important case. Uh, I know I, I didn't hear what Legion heard about this being like his last chance, right? No, no, Legion. That was the that was all text message from say, from yeah. from his uh, from his commander. I say, you know what, Legion? You've been a solid guy. You got a great set of wheels now. You you basically put it online for us. You, you know, coming from the hospital and everything. So, I'm I'm going to help you. Do what I can to help you. And I think that uh, Lovelace is going to be able to help you. And let's just get this done. Um, find you know, spurts and, you know, see if we can get this solved. Uh, you want to go see this, this gesture guy? Well, nobody knows where he is. Yeah. I'm about to say, we, we have no idea of where this gesture guy even is. And frankly, Wait. from what I've heard of him, uh, we don't want to go in there by ourselves. Well, I'm curious if, Maybe we know someone who knows. Maybe if I, we talk to Ori some... or get yeah, I was just thinking word of... on the street that we're looking to hire them, we could say that we're interested in, you know, doing a certain hit or kidnapping job or whatever. And But we won't Ooh. pay up until we get a meeting with, you know, the big man in charge. Drop some bait for them. Yeah. Yeah. Go that route. So that actually isn't a bad idea. We'd go that route. We don't even need to be obvious about it. Just offer a job for yam spurts and offer shit pay for it. Can I use my media connections to do that? To put the word you out? Could you could possibly use media connections to do that. Yeah, you guys have a lot of options here. Uh, just to be very, very clear, we're we're in investigation mode, right? You have a case to solve, and uh, uh, you know, a probably not going to happen overnight, and b uh, it, it really comes down to how you want to use your skills to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. Well, I am so skillful; it's hard to pick just one. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You guys have <laughs> lots of options. You have skill checks. You have role rank checks. You, what? How do you want to use your skills to, to, to save yam spurts from this kidnapping of bozos, right? That's, I, that's the, uh, that is the mission now, right? I also have these dance moves. Boom, boom. Ah. Yes. You know, if you can figure out a way to use dancing to make this happen, you tell me how you do it, and I will tell you what the DV is. <laughs> I will say you're going to have to give me a very good argument how dancing is relevant, but yes. <laughs> That's the idea. Mary, here. are you okay? Mary, are you okay? <laughs> Would I be able to find out if we've got any undercover guys with uh, any of the local gangs? Uh Oh, that is a good question. How about you give me a library search again, plus two, since you're using the NCPD database? Right. Let's see. Library search. Now, just... Okay, go ahead. Do your library search. I'm sorry. Let me switch over here. Oh, nice. Yes, nice. you do know of an undercover unit, but of course, what their operations are specifically is something that is not just like dropped in the database for obvious right. reasons. So you would have to talk to their commander of the unit and you have a point of contact for the commander of the undercover unit named uh, Duke. Sarge, uh, he's a sergeant in the... Uh, um in in psycho squad specifically that uh they kind of oversee most of the uc operations because these are the elite motherfuckers that right. go into this kind of shit so you do have a point of contact that you can ask questions of named uh uh duke 
He's not. He doesn't like Sergeant Duke. He is a sergeant, but he doesn't like Sergeant Duke. Just okay. Duke. All right. So yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and try and uh, give him a call. Uh, you get a response from his uh, department secretary, uh, say, uh, and the uh, the response is uh, that he'll put you in. Uh, 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 he he actually he does put you in the book for him to return your call. Okay. So like he 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 can't he can't, he can't just drop what he's doing and answer your call. Uh, he has a he has an answer answering service and uh, another you know just low level uh uh ncpd officer who just takes messages right okay. I, I would that's, like to i would like mm -hmm. to go out on a limb uh so the pregame that we did is probably still canon i would like to know if we still have our contacts from the ape gang the monkey gang uh no that is not canon <laughs> <laughs> we do this. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, you Man. do not have you do not have contacts with the AK. No. Shoot. Okay. Fine. So, um, but nice uh, as yeah. it happens, I might know where to find them. You, the the monkey gang or the uh... yeah, because. Uh, on the Wednesday gang, they <laughs> will, I will allow your knowledge. I will allow uh, Legion's knowledge of the ape gang to carry over. Yes, because that that is uh, that uh, his his involvement with them actually involved uh, an NCPD case. So yes, I uh, you do know of the ape gang, but what is your thought of their relevance here? Well, I uh, just, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that I I don't know, oh, but well, I'm just thinking that they may have had some dealings with the um the bozos i mean bozos and apes yeah, 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 they no, kind of no, go no, together no. you know it's it, it's not a horrible thought but you don't actually have a, a specific thread to that that's my answer okay that's fair okay well i mean if you have a contact maybe just leave a message saying if they know anybody or if they can get if they know anybody in the apes or in the bo yeah. bozos yeah if, anybody, yeah, if anybody wants to drop lines out on what, uh, yeah, it, it, whatever channels you want to think of, you can drop some lines to and we'll see how they play out. So, so with my media connections, I have like just small, just what, small. What is your, what, what is your current media rank? Two. Two. Okay. So. It's just uh, like just like second. small like uh, flyers and newsletters and stuff. College campuses. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you're you're still pretty small, and I and specifically since you uh, operate in the university district, um, the bozos don't really operate very much there. That's not, I'm not going to say it's a dry well of a connection because you never know what you can try and uh get out of uh but it really comes down to how are you using yeah. what skills do you want to use to get the information from those contacts well, That's from what, what really i've is. heard the bozos are quite erudite <laughs> <laughs> that was great so um what you can do is uh hold on i need to get the uh media rollability up so I ha so I have well you know what I'm I'm gonna drop the media I'm gonna go with my fixer I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. send Ori okay. a message saying if he he knows anything about the bozos okay give me one second uh... any any sightings or you know rumors I mean rumors would be a media thing because I do have the rumors I do get a rumor a week yes yeah yeah so uh that's what I, that's what I'm getting at oh, okay is, uh, fine uh, sorry I, I want to do the uh I want to do your roles for media rumors that that would be useful for you right now so um let me first uh I have to do a hidden media rumor give me a second okay uh, okay so I do a hidden media rumor that is just your uh, media rank plus a D10. So it's just a straight credibility roll. But if you are using a skill to uh, acquire 
um, information, then you can use that skill against a DV and possibly get better information. Tracking? Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. So I'm going to do a blind credibility roll for Mr. Nobody. I'm going to use my handgun skill now. <laughs> well, if you can figure out. Okay. So uh, your, your blind DV rumors, you did not pass to even get a vague rumor. But uh, if you want to, for the active DVs, if you want to use a skill... To, such as library search, conversation, interrogation, whatever, then you can use that skill to try and get another rumor. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to use... Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, before I'm, you roll, tell me where you're going for this information. Okay, I'm I using... I'm, I want to use a local expert. Okay. Um, and kind of like tap into my network of and right. my so knowledge local, of local expert because your local expert is uh uh contained to the university district and i've already told you that the both oh, yeah. don't operate very yeah, much there I can't do that. the dv for getting information that is relevant to you there will be very high i'm not saying you can't it's just going to be a much higher dv if you use local expert okay uh, as opposed to um library search or conversation or or Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. I will. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I will use library search then. Okay. So make a library search check. And, and I'm going to. I'm going to add two luck to this. Excellent. Ooh, baby. Oh, nice. Ooh, baby. Yes. So, uh, at a DV thirty, uh, it's the the DV to get a detailed rumor is twenty one. So you get a substantial rumor, but the rumor adi uh, uh, additionally contains information that, if verified, could become a piece of evidence the media can use in a story they might publish about the supposed truth of the core of the rumor. Okay. So that is the result is what information I'm about to give you can actually be used as a piece of evidence in a story you write. So as everybody's looking at Mr. Nobody, Mr. Nobody looks up and... and a, a ray of morning sunlight beams through one of the windows <laughs> and, and, and just, just showers him in light. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. And his abs sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. uh, you, you know, you, you've heard a rumor that the jester has set up in the old combat zone. So at the very least, you have seriously narrowed where you in Night City for these guys. Okay, and there was an additional piece you said. Uh, no, no, no. That's uh, it. Huh? Uh, well, this is this is this is the. Uh, oh no, no, the very detailed rumor. Not only are they in the old combat zone, but you actually get an address for an abandoned building that that you that that Hell they yeah. might be hold up in. So you 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 know where they are you even get satellite at while you're doing your library search with that freaking 30 i gotta give you uh, some fucking details yeah man. buddy uh uh you you have satellite image of the building you can see bozos armed outside but you can't see much inside the building and uh but you do get thorough plans that i don't have like 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 obviously specific like blueprints or everything you're even able to find though the 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 blueprints that are on file for this building with the city unbelievable i i download it all onto my agent and disseminate it to everybody even to frizz okay and 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 i look at limbo i say limbo you've got one job level me up mm-hmm Okay. Okay. And I look at already level twelve. Get out of my ear. I'm already I'm, level twelve. I love it. <laughs> well, uh, you're not. I was actually. I actually had roles involved for this. Um, okay. <laughs> um. So here's what's gonna happen. You guys have pretty much exhausted uh everything that you can learn this day. 
Some of you have some feelers out and you also have some planning to do. This is not going to be a simple knock on the door and show up. So you guys are probably, if you're going to decide to try and raid this building, you're going to want to thoroughly uh, uh, plan out your uh, uh, infiltration plan. We're going to need you legions. A uh... lot of, you have a lot of detailed information that is useful, but you still don't have anything that lets you see what's inside the building right now. All you know from satellite imagery is that you definitely see clowns armed outside this building. I um I look at uh Frizz and I say Spurts, does he have corporate security options available? Um that was something uh, she she'll be able to answer this question. That was something he was looking into when he uh grew the company more. He was uh planning on getting hiring security next. As of right now, no. So the company doesn't have like a overall like you know like force that they can send in the event of something like this. That is correct. So all we have is Limbo and Frizz. Limbo and Frizz are the only operators under uh, uh, Yam Spurts that you have available to you right now. That is correct. Can we hire mercenaries? You could. You could absolutely hire mercs if you front the Eddies for it and put a call out. Legion, how many uh, guys can you muster? I can bring in at least four, maybe a little bit more if the chief's feeling generous. Uh, I actually... You all, I'll, 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 again, I'll answer that question. Uh, you have your four. You have your four. Uh, you can call on them for this because this is a f official police uh, duty. No problem. It's not going to count against you negatively to call okay. in your backup, but you have your four at your current rank. Okay, cool. Lovelace, you have any that connections? your team, those four guys. Lovelace, you have any connections? I don't really know any souls or anything, but I'm sure we could find somebody. I'm... Um, Wondering if in how long it would take me to maybe make some sort of camera drone that we could see inside there. Or maybe there's somewhere that Frizz and I could jack in and see security cameras. Hmm. Uh, in order to do a scanner uh, uh, to find access points, you have to be there on site. You wouldn't be able to do that remotely. Um, as far as getting a uh, drone, you could absolutely build a drone potentially. Uh it, it's going to take you some time to do so, and how long it takes you is entirely dependent on your tech rolls. And you also need to heal. Yes. Uh, we also uh, have... I do need to heal. We also have one other possibility open to us, at least as far as gathering information goes. Sapper seems mm -hmm. to know a lot of people. Maybe he has some contacts that might know about the bozos or this address. Yes, Sapper is a contact that you guys could call upon. That is true. Legion, I, th I think you know a solo. I haven't met her, but she's pretty notorious. Uh, Lady Death, I think is her name. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she yeah. can come shout join us. To, uh, shout out to our player, Lucia, and Wednesday, right? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized, yeah, too. Um, yeah, that I mean that would certainly be awesome, but um, honestly, I don't see why I couldn't reach out to all of my contacts from the other crew. I I, I will say I am not opposed to letting you reach out to con on contacts from the crew, and I would just play them as NPCs to the best of my ability, according to how these players have presented themselves to me in my game. Nice. Also, <laughs> I love it. um, I just remembered that. Uh, I have uh, a little sway when it comes to dealing with uh, the albino alligators and the piranhas. You do have uh, what, what? What was it? Plus five. Uh, yeah, you got you got uh, plus like, five like rep. Plus five to reputation versus those particular uh, people. If you wanted to try and reach out to them in some way, shape, or form, uh, that is an option. Which it this brings us uh, to a. Uh, perfect point because it is eight o'clock by my time 
And so we can take our 10 minute break and each of our players can think really hard on where they want to take this investigation next. Well, we got to bring Sulla because she's a total badass. Yeah. Well, well, of course. Uh, and, and this is the planning stage. And also because some people may have to be taking time to heal and some other people might be wanting to prep in other ways. When we come back, we're also going to do some hustles for the week for each character. Nice. Cool. Awesome. So y'all will be able to earn some extra eddies in the meantime while this investigation is coming together. Okay. We'll see you guys, All in, right. see so, you guys in 10 then. Ten minutes, yep. guys. We'll we'll be back. Yep. And we're back. Hello, everybody. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, thanks for waiting for us. That was a long ten minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. Organizing to just just wait for your dose of cyberpunk. Uh, okay. So when we left off, everybody was kind of leaving the crime scene, going back to their own homes for the day. And let's start with Lovelace because you're gonna need to rest a day or two to heal up um i'm looking at you yeah with with the five body you need two days to get back to full i sure do so i guess that's what i spend two of the days doing all right so while lovelace is spending a couple of days uh healing up and re uh resting before she can get involved in any plotting planning or or uh preparation for the rescue of yam spurts we will first go to mr nobody who might want to uh hustle some eddies today and what is the most recent uh role you ranked up was it media or uh fixer it, it was fixer it was fixer so you're going to uh what is your fixer rank right now six all right fixer rank give me a d6 roll for your uh weekly hustle let's see what you get up to this week that is a six. That is a six for a fixer. A six is... There it is. Uh, you brought in a rare, illegal, or very hard-to-get item for a client, and your commission will be 500 eddies. Nice. Yes. So uh, we're going to say... Uh, uh, this is my favorite. Uh, I get to invent some shit. You have a client that requested a live boa constrictor. And uh, because uh, reptiles are currently illegal in Night City, uh, you have to smuggle this. You have to hire a smuggler. You have to uh, get it across the border into Night City. You have to get this uh, uh, item live uh, to the client, right? Live reptile. So uh, how, how do you want to go about finding the smuggler for this job? Um, hmm. It would have to be somebody who wears baggy clothes and uh, somebody who has a reputation as being well endowed. <laughs> You're going to try and get somebody to smuggle this snake in their pants. <laughs> I love it. I I've love got it. a snake uh, in my boot. <laughs> give me a wardrobe and style check because you are going to purchase the clothes for this smuggler. Oh, and my pick God. Them out. So give me a wardrobe and style check. I am check. definitely adding two luck to this. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yes. Yes. Nineteen. Nice. That's a nineteen. Uh, you pick out the the perfect clothes, and uh, this smuggler has has no problem sneaking across the border. And all the guards genuinely believe that he just has uh 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 what what's the what's the the, the Mr. Stud, he's just got a yeah, Mr. He's got Stud, stud yes. Yeah. And he definitely, and, and, he picks up a few phone numbers along the way, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, that sounds about right. And so you are able to get this uh, snake through customs at the border. And uh, you need to now figure out how you're going to get it delivered to the client. How are you planning on going about uh, uh, 
making this delivery happen. Specifically, it is a delivery in the executive zone. There's not going to be another customs check, but you got to figure out a way to get your delivery guy through that gate. Mm. Um. And he can't just say, hey, I'm here to see X blah, 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 because this is supposed to be a cover covert smuggling operation, right? No name dropping. Yeah. Um, I would probably uh, do like uh, give him a, like a case uh, that looks like it belongs to military equipment, like military mm -hmm. hardware mm -hmm. that's big enough to put the snake in. Okay. Uh, How are you keeping the snake uh, uh, alive? Uh, co comfortable in their environment? What are you? Are you? Are you taking any precautions? I there? I, I consult with Sapper, who, who I know <laughs> has a collection. Yes. Uh, he tells you. He tells you if you uh, um, get like one of those uh, microwavable heating packs, mm -hmm. and then you insulate it really well, uh, you will probably be able to get it uh across the city without like freezing because it is winter time right now okay so um i would yeah i would just uh put it inside to, one. yeah yeah you're gonna have to purchase oh by the way it was 20 eddies for the uh uh uh, the, clothes, uh clothes that you purchased okay and then now it's gonna be another 50 eddies out of your pocket to get the um uh, the the case, the case that you want to get, and the uh, uh, and of course because of your fixer rank you can source all of this no problem, but uh, it is going to be another fifty eddies to get the case and the proper insulation and heating pack. Mm. Okay, um, I won't do the haggle or anything. I'll just pay it. Okay. okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, get that set up and uh, make sure that the snake is nice and comfortable. And um, try not to let it I get... I want you to give me a basic tech roll to make sure that the package is uh, set up properly. A basic tech, or can I do weapons tech? Uh, basic tech on this one, not weapons tech, sorry. Oh. Okay, fine. Um, here we go, spending more luck. I'm going to spend another one luck on this one. Hopefully it'll be enough. Yes. No, it's another nat. Nice. Oh, no, double nat. Yeah, double. double crit. Double, double crit. Double crit. So, yeah, this this thing is packed up perfectly and um the client is so impressed with uh the speed and efficiency that you were able to get this order together that he is going to tip you percent. Give me a percentile. The original job was for 500, and you were rolling a percentile for your increase. Okay. Let's see. 30%. Uh, 30%. 30. 30%. 30 so whatever 30% of 500 is, so that's an extra 150. Yep. Okay. One. So you get 650. So you got a 150 eddy tip on this job. Nice. All right. Let's go to Legion's side hustle for the week. Legion. What are you doing this week? Let's find out. Give me a D6 roll. All right. All right. Side Ooh. hustle for the lawman number two. You get a reward from a grateful citizen or bribe. <laughs> what is your current uh, uh, lawman ability rank? Four. Four. All right. So... Uh, you are being offered a 200 eddy bribe to look the other way on some bullshit on the street from a ganger. What kind of bullshit we talking here? Does it give petty, any clarification? It's a petty crime. It's a petty crime. It, yeah. it, honestly, honestly, uh, the 200 eddies is like maybe half the fine he would pay if this actually just ends up with him going to court. Yeah, no, no deal. No deal. So you're going to go ahead and make the arrest? Yep. All right. Give me a brawling check to see right. if you are able to get the cuffs on this dude as you make the arrest. Right. Right. 
17. Excellent. You successfully slap those cuffs on this motherfucker and bring him into the station. And turns out there was a thousand Eddie bounty on this particular criminal. This Yo. is probably why he was trying to skirt away with a 200 Eddie bribe. You, for bringing in this guy, get the thousand Eddie bribe as a bonus on reward. your salary. Not or, sorry, bribe. reward. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> he was the briber. This is the, uh, the, the bounty. Thank you. You get the thousand Eddie bounty on uh, this dude for bringing him in. But Legion knows right. that virtue is its own reward. Isn't and, that right? And. No, no. Don't, don't take me off the head. Something higher. <laughs> Give me a conversation check. All right. Conversation. Let's see. Social skills. Conversation. Here we go. Oh, ah, shit. shit. Unfortunately, the uh, the rumors of your heroic deeds do not reach your captain's ears, so this does not have any effect on your overall career. But you do get to pocket a thousand eddies for uh, uh, bringing in this cr criminal with a bounty on his head. And ten IP. Hey, Don't forget the ten. And ten IP for your uh, for your yeah. critical failure. Yeah, that's right. All right. Let's move on to uh, not yam spurts, but Limbo, who media is going to be doing uh, um, uh, a hustle. So I'm going to roll a D6, Joe, because you said you are AFK right now. Yeah, he's going to you're going to roll for him. Yeah, should roll. Uh, I do want to make sure Joe's still with us, though, right? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of in the middle of something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you are you with us, buddy? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's see what Limbo's hustle is this week while Yamsperts is away. He gets a six, so uh, and that's on a media hustle. So uh, ah, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, he writes an expose that blows the lid off a major topic. And, of course, the major topic that he talks about in his blog is all about elf lines online and he is bragging about uh 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 basically in his blog he is talking about how he got paid for uh leveling up this dude's uh character uh he doesn't like uh, and he's just really talking mostly about the character and all of the awesome shit that he's adding. But this is where I want a... Um, Does he get a term, uh, term of service violation? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. This is his personal blog. He's good to go. He's good to go. And he's only talking about the character. He's not talking about any like corporate shit on his blog. He's okay. just talking about the excitement that he has about working on this character. And... Um, but like everybody is so damn impressed and it, his his blog gets so much traffic that he earns 300 eddies. Nice. So 300 eddies uh, are being added to Limbo's account in addition to the, uh, how much was it uh, for like nobody? It was a uh, 500, uh, I can't remember. No, it was, it was, Six, it was. 640. 640. 640. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, 640. that already is added though. Yeah, so yeah, so he's getting an additional 300 eddies just because of the traffic on his blog. Um and we are also going to roll how much he gets Mr. Nobody's character leveled and that is going to be a 3d6 roll and that is going to determine how many levels that Limbo is able to add to Mr. Nobody Mr. Nobody's Elfline's character this week that he paid for. And so I'm rolling, uh, that is nine. He's able to get you up to level nine in a week. Mr. Well, that's kind of lame. <laughs> that's not really getting my money's worth, but that's, a, that's a, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but he's also doing this on his off hours. Okay. So <laughs> this isn't his main job to grind you. You, you, uh, 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 even though you said this is your job, he still, like, doesn't work for you. <laughs> he works I, for I might log in he and I might log in and put a little time in myself to get good. Uh, I'll tell you what. Give me a electronics slash security check. 
Okay, yes, I have a zero level and a base four on that, so that should be just great. Uh, I am using another luck. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Eight. Uh, okay, yeah, you, you, you are only able to get 1d4 levels added to that nine. Give okay. me a d4. So it's a 10. I'm up yeah, to 10. So, yeah, yeah. So your character is now up to level 10. Keep track of that because in order to okay. join this raid, you needed to get it up to 40. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So that bring, that that concludes uh, um, Limbo's little uh, uh, downtime activity hustle. So let's check in with Lovelace. After a couple days, you're able to heal and do a little hustle of your own to earn some eddies, Lovelace. So what is the most recent role you ranked up in? Because I know you're tech and netrunner, yes? Yes, the most recent, I think, was tech. Okay, so if tech is the most recent, what is your rank in tech? Mm, four. Four. Okay, so give me a D6 roll, please. That is a one. All right, the uh, the tech hustle number one is no jobs this week. Oh, okay. You find nada. D do I spend all my time looking for jobs, or can I spend that time doing something? Uh, I will allow you to uh, put roles into personal projects. Yes, you're just not earning any money for them. So okay. what would you like to do if you're not able to find any work this week? What would you be putting your uh, energy towards? Well, we have that elf line. Well, actually, how much would it cost to build a drone with like a camera on it? Uh, so if you just want to build a... Um, the basic drone that you can find is, sorry, hold on. I do have this ready to go. I just need to get it open. Uh, damn it. Where's the fucking drone? Oh, there's the drones folder. I haven't color coded drones yet. So you can build, uh, the very, uh, for, uh, basic, uh, cam uh, drone with a camera in it would be a graph three, which costs 500 eddies. So... Uh, uh, you are able to build something for half that cost. It would be 250 eddies, and then you got to make some cyber tech rolls. Okay. How about inventing a smaller sized drone? I would say this is literally the smallest sized drone that you could make. And if you, uh, uh oh, sorry, no. There is a, a smaller assassin drone that you could make, but it's, uh, it, it's 5,000 eddies, so you would okay. be making it for 2,500 eddies. So it's actually harder to make that tiny-ass drone, you know what I'm saying? I gotcha. You know, it, I was hoping for something yeah. that could kind of fit through the vents and, you know, go yeah, around the building. Uh, very specifically, there is a drone model that does that, but it's its cost is 5,000 eddies, so, you might, so your cost to make it would be 2,500. What about the yeah, Observer? What about the Observer? The observer is not small enough to uh, uh, go into vents and shit. I was looking at the uh, uh, Suzumbachi assassin drone to being the closest thing size-wise. Mm. So that kind of micro technology is more expensive. Is that under branded? Uh, well, I put it under. Uh, I just put all of the drones in a folder called drones in the items folder on the UI. Oh, okay. So if if you look in the if you look in the items folder, you can see black chrome, black chrome plus, and drones is right under black chrome, black chrome plus. Okay. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, I see. I see all about drones. I don't see the 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 other. No, you're looking in the compendium, not the custom folders that I built in items. I'm talking literally about oh, the I items see. folder next to the actors tab. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. I, I've got it all. I've got all of the uh, everything from Black Chrome Interface Volume One, all the shit. It's all uh, uh, organized in folders in the items tab there. Ooh. Okay, since there's no jobs and I do not have 2,500 eddies, I will place some outlines. But it's only 250 lines. eddies to build the oh, graph no. three. Well, I wanted the, the small one. Well, you could work up to that later. If you wanted to work on something now until you earn the eddies to build the more how much How much does it cost for her to build the Suzumbachi? Uh, it would be 2,500. Okay. But it's only two fifty to buy uh, build the graph three. I just don't know how helpful it would be since we already have aerial photos. Uh, because uh, those are just satellite photos of uh, basically it's like looking at Google Earth, right? Those are not necessarily live photos. Those are just like on a database that you can look up. And the observer but can't do that. Uh, no, that's what I'm saying. Uh, well, the observer could do that. She just doesn't have the money to to to, to build it. It's a thousand dollars, which would be. Would you have? Yeah, you could build an observer. Uh, uh, for fi uh, so it would be five hundred eddies for her to build that uh, worth of materials. Because it's the half difference the cost. with that. It's just bigger. It can't get into small spaces. It's just yeah. It's it's just bigger. It wouldn't be able to fit through a vent like the Susan Bachi would. Okay, um, let's just do the, the cheapest one. There was just one the I could build for one, 250 the, right? Yeah, the cheapest one would be my first Graph 3, which is literally just a personal drone with a uh, uh, um, uh, camera. What does the observer have? It would be 250 eddies for you to make. The, uh, doesn't, the, the first Graph doesn't have a camera. Oh, it does. Oh, sorry. The first graph doesn't have a camera. You're right. So the the, the you need the, the actual observer. graph three. You no no or the observer okay. or the graph three for a thousand eddies. Well, so yeah. you could, yeah. The, the graph three is five thousand. Oh, the graph three is five thousand. Right. So the observer. Thank you. If you want one with a camera at a cheap price, it would be building an observer, and that would be five hundred eddies and a uh, 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 cyber tech roll. All right. I'm gonna. Try to build an observer. Okay. Let us get to... Give me a second. Did I skip tech? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, so you are... Uh, you're, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, so you don't need to do an invention check. You're just trying to build an existing item. So, um, you are going to be using fabrication expertise. So you're going to make uh, a tech plus this tech skill that that item is specifically repaired with, i.e. your uh, cyber tech role. So it's going to be, you get to add your tech level plus your tech skill, i.e. cyber tech, plus your rank in the specialty plus a D10. All of this should be calculated if you just click on your fabricate expertise. Okay. Oh, and I have to pick the skill. So, which skill are we doing? You're doing cyber tech. Cyber tech. Thank you. And let's uh, spend a luck. Nice. Nice. Uh, and you are trying to make a, uh, what's the, what's the price category of, uh, this is an expensive, okay? You're trying to make an expensive item, so the, it is one week's time and the DV is 21 for your cyber tech roll. Sweet. And you got okay. a 23. So, oh. you spend a week making, uh, uh, an observer... And I will literally just drop that shit into your inventory right now. Thank you very much. Cool. All right. Bam. You now have an observer in your inventory. An observer drone. 
if you need details on this uh, item for for the future, you can look it up in Black Chrome on page 60. No, sorry, not on Black Chrome, on page 62 of Interface Red Volume 1. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, it is a, f a personal drone with a, a flying camera that can be linked to your agent. That is probably the most important information you know. You can control it from your agent. Right? And yeah. uh, the way I'm running drones, anything you try to make the drone do, you are using your skill in that. So if you're trying to be stealthy with the drone, you use your stealth. If you're trying to be uh, lip reading with the drone, you use your lip reading. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and does the drone have its own turn, or does it use my action in combat? Uh, I will. Uh, it will be your action to give it commands through the agent. Okay. Tracking, but it will follow whatever command it's given and have its own initiative. Sounds good. All right. Uh, okay, so everybody has had a chance to make some money or some tech, as it were. Uh, this week and after a week Lovelace now has an observer drone and uh, is healed up and kind of now that you've finished this project you're like okay how can I use this to help find yam spurts so Lovelace it gets into your little head now might be the time to call the crew and figure out exactly what we're doing from here all right I send a group text to everyone saying uh hey guys i've got the this observer drone ready it's just a flying drone with a camera but i think it should help us take out where we think they have yam yeah, i think i think it's time to start planning to make a move when uh, uh when you send out this group text you hear a shout from the living room of your uh, <laughs> uh, apart uh of, of your uh apartment I'm literally in the next room, you bitch! From, uh, <laughs> that's what you hear from Butterfly right before Butterfly leaves the fucking uh, group conversation. Yep. Wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> I'll make her some tea as an apology. Uh, but everybody else gets this group text from Lovelace. What does the group text say? Just saying that I've finished this drone up and I think it's time to start planning to making moves for Yam. You know, hopefully he's okay after we've just casually spent a week doing stuff while he's been tied up. You know, um, very polite of him to wait, but I think it's time to make some moves. Maybe we should meet up somewhere to talk. After after I get uh, the Legion text, Legion does on. get. Oh, sorry. Legion does get a message from because you put out word to Duke uh, from mm -hmm. the Psycho Squad, and the the message you get back mm -hmm. is every UC they've sent into the Bozos has died. The what? Every undercover cop they have sent into the Bozos has died. Mm. Okay. Um, that is, that is that is the message you get. That actually was not what I was going to ask them to do. Oh, uh, what? Uh, what? Sorry, what was it? You were what were you trying to get out of it? Uh, I was going to ask them to tell his guys to put out the word that we want yam spurts alive and give them some price that's dirt cheap and say you know that's how much we'll be, we'll be paying. <laughs> yes, but it's as good as dead. Okay. Uh, um, you're, uh, he'll have to put that bounty out to some fucking edge runner mercs because we don't have the resources. Well, I don't need you to actually, you know, put it out. Just you know, put word on the street that. Yeah, no, know. but that that's resources. All right, fair enough. <laughs> He, 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 yeah, so so very specifically, you're not really getting much uh, support from NCPD other than your team. Okay, that's 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 what you're 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 getting from that. Right. Um, I did also want to do a little bit of shopping. Yes, uh, that is something certainly something we will uh, get to in just a minute. Put a pin in that, and nobody was trying to respond to the group message. Yeah, I actually. Um... I have also um, 
spent some time this week uh, upgrading my living conditions. And I've moved uh, two containers down from Lovelace and, and Butterfly. <laughs> and so i respond to the text by oh, coming okay. over with a little a cup i said hey, can i borrow some sugar and yeah sure let's talk give me a uh um give me a an operator check <laughs> okay come on one <laughs> I am going to use my last luck on this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you were oh, able to get you were able to get the con app next door for 20% cheaper. Nice. So it's 800 a month, Here, right? Yes, yeah, 800 a month instead of 1000. Here's the problem. What? Whoever uh, uh, was in this place last died there, and the smell of the, 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 the body was not found for five weeks. <laughs> the smell in this conap is ghastly. No treatment has been able to get rid of that dead body smell. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I have the... Uh... Air air, air air filter, like a cork. <laughs> nasal filters. I have the nasal yeah. filters, yes. Yeah, so I yeah, so you don't notice the smell, but your guests certainly. Well, will. I yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to definitely uh, do <laughs> some deep cleaning, for sure. But that's the reason why you got it so cheap. <laughs> Fuck me. Is because there is literally just a permeation of old dead body that has was sitting there for five weeks in the summer sun beating down on oh, the roof of this con app gee thanks <laughs> thanks um but uh but yeah so well, you uh, know Mr. that just no means that i'm gonna have to go visit uh butterfly and 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 lovelace that much more often <laughs> <laughs> right speaking of which i mean uh, somebody has to answer the door yeah, somebody does have to answer the door, and <laughs> I'm just going to say it's Lovelace simply because Butterfly's not here to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she would have answered the door. I guess yeah. I'll be nice. Yeah. Hey, how are you, neighbor? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey how's it going, oh. friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I heard nasal filters. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got my both have, we both have nasal filters on. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice and say the smell doesn't carry with you. It's just in the apartment. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So I was wondering if you have any air freshener you could loan me. Uh, maybe some uh, <laughs> some uh, uh, some deep cleaner you know, cleaning fluid. Uh, I, I will say uh, Lovelace definitely thinks that she could invent something like that. If she wanted to make an invention role, it would take time. Okay, I could probably do something. You'll I'd have be, to cover any costs. I would be happy to so pay they, you, you know. for any services rendered. I, I will say that the the cost of that thing that you would try to make is 100 eddies. So you, it would only be 50 eddies materials. Okay, I I can get you something for fifty eddies. You don't have to pay me extra. Just cost you know what? Materials. I'll pay you the full hundred because I know the time and energy that went into this. So go ahead and add a hundred to yours, and actually fifty because you're spending hundred. Are you you're spending fifty? No, no, 50. She's, she's spending fifty. Yeah, she's spending fifty, but it costs a hundred to to. So like, she's like, adding if, if adding fifty something like this. Yeah, and uh, it's a DV thirteen uh, invention roll, and then uh, you you do have to make you you would have to do two rolls, but they're both DV thirteen. One for invention, one for fabrication. Six hours for each, so it would be a twelve hour project total. Can I do anything to help her? Um. Well, she already did the first one, but... Uh, Sorry, got a little ahead of myself. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. So the invention roll was... Did your, uh, was a 12? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a DV, um, right? 
No, the DV was 13. Well, so I wanted to do something to help her. If you can, let's see what you could do to help her to lower her DV. I would say, um, I will, um, I, I uh, can. Okay. You can try and source higher quality materials with a, an operator check. That's a good deal. Make it a hygiene roll. <laughs> hygiene roll. <laughs> <laughs> Get some new antiperspirant, yes. A uh, shower in a can is in black yes, chrome. That's it, shower in a can. <laughs> Which right. is basically Axe body spray. All right, so I get a 19. Right. With a 19, uh, because you're able to source the higher quality uh, um, uh, materials, that will reduce her DV to 11, and so the 12 passes. Now, an actual fabrication roll is going to be required. Also, DV-13. Okay. Um, well, thank you, nobody, for the help. No worries. Can, now, I have weapons tech. And I also have uh, first aid. And I have... This is a cyber tech roll. I don't see uh, weapons tech uh, really helping here. Cyber tech, can I do, like, a, a library search? Like, for maybe some... Google research. better ways to, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it's not necessary. For not you necessarily. You just, just got it. Be, because <laughs> while you're looking shit up, she's like, I got this. I got this. And she's Fuck she's yes. hooking everything up fucking perfectly. And now uh, Mr. Nobody's uh, apartment smells um, Lovelace. What fragrance <laughs> does your, uh, uh, My, your uh, neighbor. apartment your our apartment filter that you just invented. Now, here's the thing. You invented this, which means you mm -hmm. can sell them. Ooh. You can make more of them and sell them for 100 eddies, but it only costs you 50 eddies to make them. And it only takes you six hours to make these. You have invented a Cybertech air freshener that can just be placed in a home and make the entire room smell like what? Um, she, no she notices that butterflies always had eucalyptus candles in her mm. room. So she's trying to do nobody so a favor. For the, so you source that for the fragrance? Yes. Okay. So now keep in mind, you have invented this thing. You're the only one who knows how to make it and you can sell them and potentially set your price. However, it only costs you 50 eddies to make. So just keep this in mind for the future. This might be an additional side hustle if you can't find work. You can make a batch of these and try and sell them. You could also use Mr. Nobody to help you as a fixer to get them out. For sure. Right? Hell yeah. Put the word okay. out. Yeah. So work makes the you, dream work. You have invented a new air freshener that is, is so uh, uh, reliable that it can get rid of the smell of a dead body. <laughs> and I'm going to Lovelace texts Limbo and says I, I just created this new cyber air freshener and I need a good name text me back when you can and I'm going to take some pictures of Lovelace as she's got her lab coat on and she's working on this and uh, you know like looking through the, the microscope and, and creating everything and then I'm going to uh, set up a camera so that uh, showing me you know setting it up and cleaning it up in my apartment and then a picture of of people actually standing in my apartment going, "Oh, this smells wonderful." All right, give me a. Um, you're gonna do a credibility roll on this, and you have. I'm gonna say you. Uh, just just the photos and videos is only gonna give you. Uh, one piece of evidence, and for this particularly small, because uh, uh, you're making an ad, not a story. I'm not gonna let you grab four pieces of evidence, so you're only getting the plus one to your roll, um, uh, you are going to roll a percentile. Remember, for credibility, no luck, and it's just a straight D10. Okay? Oh, straight D10, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Um, no luck, straight D10, credibility roll. That's not bad. A six. All right. You got the plus one, so 70% uh, of the people who see this ad believe it 
And so there, you have created an actual market for this product for, for Lovelace. That's awesome. Thank you. Hey, what are the neighbors for? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so we are going to turn to Limbo and Legion, who also get the same messages from Lovelace. How do you guys respond? Because uh, she threw the group text out. Mr. Nobody showed up right away. And for the last 12 hours, she's been working on this hair freshener. So there's a good 12 hours between when you get the message and her completing this air freshener. Do you guys show up? When do you guys come around uh, Lovelace's place? Limbo's in a uh, purple nurple fuel gaming session. And has mm -hmm. seen his phone go off, but has not looked at it at all. He is okay. he's trying to, he, he's he's jumping from leveling nobody's character uh, to, he's trying to do this, this work to get to this uh, squee person. So he's putting feelers out, talking to everyone he knows, uh, just networking within the game. Okay, so give me an electronics check from uh, Limbo, please. Or I got to do that for you still, huh? Please, thank you. Yes, yes, sir. I got you. God damn it. Cybernites, there we go. Uh, I said electronics, right? Yep. Yes. <laughs> nice. Not horrible. He gets a uh, 12, and um, uh, that is enough to give you an additional D6 worth of levels to Mr. Nobody's character. Let's find out. Uh, yes, that's a six. That's a six. So your character is now at 16. Nobody keep track of that. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's what Limbo's doing. What is Legion doing after he gets uh, a Lovelace's group text? I'll respond with the, the I'll be there in a few hours because uh, I'm I'm gonna go and get some nasal filters Actually, installed. Just to back up a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Yam mm -hmm. Yam said that uh, Limbo was not working on my character. He was working on trying to infiltrate. I thought he said he was bouncing back and forth. Oh, I, I say he was doing a little bit of both. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, because so was... those hardcore players do have a lower level tunes for different raids and whatnot. So yeah, he's alts. trying to go that route. They got the alts, right? Yeah, yeah. Good so thinking. Good did thinking. did he did he make any progress infiltrating the uh, guild? The answer to that question is next episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I was holding that information over because uh, uh, I've got a lot to build for the next episode here. Okay, coming up. so sorry to step on uh, your your Legion on your time. Sorry, buddy. It's all right. Good. good. Uh, so Legion wants to get some nasal filters installed. So go ahead and nasal filters are what? They're clinic level five hundred eddies. Yeah. Uh, no, they're uh, clinic level one hundred eddies. Oh yeah, so even easier. Yeah, so you can do that in uh, um, uh, a, a few hours, right? Uh, yeah. And then show up. Uh, so go ahead and do you need me to add nasal filters to your character or can you do the uh, cyberware install yourself? Uh, let's see if I can do the cyberware install myself. And make sure you roll the humanity loss. Uh, uh, let's see, where is it? Okay, uh, yeah. you, I guess you can not. under cyberware. Yeah, uh, I've got that open, um, and it doesn't look like it's letting me drag and drop. I got so. you. I got you. That's why I just wanted to check if you were able to uh, access it or not. If not, yeah. it's pretty fucking simple for me too. Yeah. Uh, all right. Nasal filters. Nasal filter. There they are. All right, go ahead. They're in your inventory. Go ahead and uh, click install to roll your uh, humanity loss. All right. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. This is ah, when this go. is when Legion becomes a cyborg. <laughs> oh, damn near, right? Not bad. Yes, low, hey. low, low number. Yep. Uh, intr Wait, did I? Did we add a duplicate? Because I'm still seeing cyberware. Or I'm still seeing nasal filters in your inventory. I think yeah. you did successfully drag and drop, dude. Yeah, I think so. 
Um, that's okay. Didn't. I'll just, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, just cool. yeah, I'll just delete the duplicate. I'll just yeah. delete the duplicate. No big deal. Okay. All right, cool. You have nasal filters installed. You only lost two humanity. Not a big deal. And yep. uh, you show up at Lovelace's place. Uh, right. Uh, uh, she has just finished um, the invention process, like mapping out the blueprints, and has started on fabricating uh, Mr. Nobody's air freshener when you arrive. I actually wasn't quite done f uh, with shopping oh, yet. Oh, sorry. My bad, then. There's more to happen. Yeah. Let's retcon that. You have more to do. What's up? Um, two things. Yeah. The microwaver, uh, would I be correct in assuming that that uses the, what was it, power cells? Battery packs. Uh, microwaver... Um, to do, do, do mag size eight setting. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, weapon type. ammo type. Where's the ammo type? Compatible ammo batteries. Yes, it uses okay. batteries. And the dart gun, I was, um, would that use uh, arrows or yeah, it uses arrows? Okay, cool. Pretty sure. I'll double check that as well. Ammo type. Yeah, because it's listed as an exotic, very heavy yeah, pistol. Yeah, yeah, um... <clears throat> Dark gun. Configure compatible ammo. Arrows, yes. Okay, Just, cool. Yes, so, yeah, dark gun uses arrows. Okay. In that case, I will buy both of those guns and 10 of each of the basic ammos for those. Or, okay, oh. so I will drop a dart gun into your inventory <laughs> and a microwaver. Mm -hmm. And 10 basic arrows and three battery packs. 10 basic arrows, three battery packs. Got it. Yep. Uh, there's 10 basic arrows. And that should come out to 1050 eddies. Yeah, go ahead and deduct it as necessary. Yep. And uh, battery pack comes uh, eight to to uh, a standard. Um, so so it's 50 eddies for eight of them. Yep. So not th you said three. Did, oh, so did oh. you want three packs of eight? No, no. Uh, I was actually just looking for three because the. I was under the impression that a single battery pack... A single uh, battery pack has eight shots, so if you want three battery packs, that would be yeah. uh, 24 shots. Yeah. So, so, yeah you just, do want, so you do want me to... Okay, so that's 150 no, no. eddies for that many. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Those are uh, in your inventory now. Subtract them from your... Uh, um, and, uh, is there, is that all the shopping that you're doing? Uh, yes, it is. All right. So next week we are going to come together to the table where everybody meets at Lovelace and Butterfly's place. There we go. Well, I'm already this there. No, right. So uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, Legion shows up right when uh, uh, Lovelace now because he he was doing the extra shopping. Right when Lovelace is finishing uh, making this uh, air freshener for nobody's apartment, and uh, that is where we are going to conclude tonight's episode and return for <laughs> what the fuck is going to happen to rescue Yamsperts? Won't Butterfly be surprised? That is uh, that's gonna be the name of next week's episode. What the fuck is gonna? <laughs> no, we'll we'll come up with a better name for that. But um, uh, actually, I kind of like I love the name of the episode today. Let's call it just WTF question <laughs> mark. Searching for yam. Searching for yam, uh, and then doing downtime activities while we find the fuck yeah. out what happened yam to search. him. I know, yeah, he's, literally. He's, he's just been sitting search. there tied up. The for yam seven. search. The, yam yeah, the, the yam search, search for yam. Yes, okay. Yeah, the yam search. <laughs> I love that. There you go. All right, but anyway, that concludes tonight's episode of Cyber Nights, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Wait, thank hold you. hold on. What, what, what? What's up? What's up? Oh, just 
Flambo's used to getting messages from Yam, so someone's gonna have to call him because you're not his yeah. boss. Yeah, we'll deal I, with that next of, week. He's kind of an idiot. Yeah, no, I know. We'll deal with that next week. I took that into account too. I can call him. I can call him. Pretend to be Yam. It's like, hey, how are you, kid? Uh, uh, all right. I want to. Uh, I want to throw a shout out really quick. We have uh, somebody in the chat named Calcifer asking, "Is this the Cyberpunk 2077 role playing game?" And I want to answer your question, Mister Calcifer. No, this is the Cyberpunk 2045 <laughs> role playing game. Uh, yes, this is the same world that Cyberpunk 2077 is set in, but we are a good three decades earlier than the events of the video game for uh, somebody who is new to the genre. And I really love the fact that we got uh, somebody just jumping into our chat new to the genre, asking these kind of questions. So Actually, yeah, our, our, our story takes place right after, not shortly after Johnny Silverhand uh, destroyed Arasaka Tower. About two decades after that, actually. Oh, two decades, yes. That's <laughs> yeah. right, it was 2020, 2023. 2023. This year. Yeah, this year, August 17th. Yeah, we're actually yeah. almost uh, a month away from the day Johnny Silverhand is supposed to blow up Arasaka in real we'll life. We'll have to do something special for that. <laughs> I do think so, yeah. Like, like we've yeah. got to do, like, a fucking uh, 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 anniversary day of the boom boom, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You take care, and uh, shout out to everybody in the, in the, in the chat, and... Uh, thank you to all my fellow players for being so awesome. And uh, yeah, and uh, thank you, audience, for being the best part of Spud. Uh, we wouldn't be here without you. Say goodbye, everybody. Yep. Thanks, guys. Oh, Take care. Bye. Bye. And